Dude, I don't know why you guys watch me. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back. Thank you guys so much for checking back to my channel. And if you guys haven't already, please do it. Please subscribe. Click that big red subscribe button. Click that bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. And let's get into the story. So about three weeks ago, um, let me just give you guys a little backstory. Out west, where I live, there's a place called Corbett where you can go mudding, hiking, trail hiking, fishing, camping, everything your little outdoorsy, outdoorsy little heart desires. It was about um, 11.45 at night and Brock and I's friend hit us up and they're like, hey, we're gonna come by and pick up the thing that we left at your house. It was Anyway, they get here about, I think, like, midnight-ish, 11.45-ish or something like that. And they're like, yo, you guys want to come over and go drinking? We might go mudding. And I've never been mudding before. And I've always really wanted to go mudding before. But I have friends who can't keep promises, and they never took me mudding. So, <laughs> my, my shirt's really flowy. And we really see through belly button. Get here. We all get in the truck, we go to McDonald's because Brock's and I haven't eaten yet. And we ended up went to Corbett and we start drinking Crown Royal, which is like alcohol that really fucks you up. I know from experience. So we go out there, we get out there, and we're mudding for about 2.5 seconds. No, it was longer than that. It was like a minute and a half, maybe. And Steven goes, Hey guys, you want to see where I got stuck last time? And I don't really remember. Everybody was like, Yeah, let's go do it. Steven was just like, I'm going to show you guys where I got stuck. And I was like, In my mind, I was like, Hey, I don't think that's such a great idea. I have shit to do tomorrow. So, he shows us where he got stuck, and his tires start going into where he got stuck last time. So he guns it in, uh, in, what's that called? Come on, Jen, we know you're all smarter than this. It's drive, drive, Jen. In drive, and then guns it in reverse. And he's like trying to get us unstuck. And then by the time all is said and all is done, we are completely stuck. His whole tire that is like, I kid you not, half of me is in the mud. His other tire, his back left driver side tire is spinning. I'm gonna try to put a video in and I have pictures and stuff. What's happening? What's happening? Hey, hey, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's up, buddy? What's that?
Um, we ended up getting stuck at one, it was 1.10 in the morning or something like that. And we didn't get out until 11.18 in the afternoon. Keep in mind, all of our phones are dying because it's midnight. We used our phones all day. And I think at that time I had already used the battery pack that was on my phone. So it was dying, of course. And so we're out there, phones are dying. We haven't eaten up all night drinking, trying to get unstuck. It was fun for a little while. We did a fire. I'll put that in to the video if I can find it on my Snapchat. Hey, we have Burban too? Everybody Sorry, does. I know you how you like don't forest. like belching. I thought it was just like a <laughs> burn ban. Have another. No. Come on. Story of my life. <laughs> I, honestly, I don't remember, but all I know is like half the size of Steven's truck. Like it was fucking huge. Half the size of Steven's truck. What the fuck you talking? Make sure you guys go follow my Snapchat, Jennifer Lynn XO. Thank you so much. Um, I don't have lighting in my house, so this is what I'm using, and I'll show you guys. Yes, bitch. Yes. Oh, and this is what you guys are balancing on. Okay. Um, our phones are dying. My boyfriend's phone is the only one that still has a bit of juice left. It's like, what is it? It's like 6.30 in the morning right now. And we're trying to find somebody who hasn't had this truck who can come pull us out or come pick pick us up or we have to walk like two hours to our friend's house to go get his truck and pull us out. So by the grace of the good Lord above, Stephen finally gets a hold of one of his friends and he's like, okay, I'll come get you. At first, the friend was like, I have a truck, like, I'll come get you. And his truck ended up being too small to pull out this big ass truck that is like, oh, it was sitting on the frame. Like there was no way we could pull it or, you know, so this guy, not the guy with the little truck, the other picks Steven up while we're walking by the trail. There's a shit ton of bees and mosquitoes. It's hot as hell. It's humid as hell. Like it's just, you're, you're sticky and there's a, bu a bunch of bees. And they just love to terrorize me. I don't know what it is, but I don't like it at all. Like I almost had a panic attack. I had to walk through this field of like, I kid you not, thousands, like maybe two, three thousand of bees. That's an exaggeration, but that's exactly what it felt like. <laughs> so anyway, we ended up getting unstuck. My boyfriend actually lost his phone out there um, on the trail. It was a pretty eventful night, experience, adventure, and that's pretty much it. I mean, my, my clothes are ruined from that night, and there was my brand new pair of my really cute pale sweater, which I can put a picture of in here. And my jeans, my jeans aren't ruined, but they were ruined, but my good old handy dandy washer and dryer did the trick. So anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys uh, click that red subscribe button, click that bell in the corner so you're notified every time I post a new video. Make sure you follow all my social media down below and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I really would love to hear stories about when you guys got stuck mudding or camping or hiking or fishing or anything that your little outdoor heart likes to do. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.